Imagine synthetic fuel as an alternative to petroleum, a long-held dream for many engineers. Well, for German engineers working for Audi in Dresden, the dream has finally come true. It's called Blue Crude, a synthetic fuel made from a mixture of carbon monoxide and water. Jose, it's really simple, the process in which it's made, but more importantly, we're not extracting it from the ground, and it's renewable, and it's, it's freaking awesome. awesome. It's made in three steps. Let okay. me break it down for you really quick. First, we harvest solar power and wind power, renewable sources, mm -hmm. to get this plant working in the first place. Okay. Okay? That's how they it work. It, they're not using um, non-renewable energy. So the plant itself is completely self-sufficient as far as energy goes, which is cool. Step one, harvest that energy. Step two, a process called electrolysis, where you split water into oxygen and pure hydrogen. So you, you separate the two, okay? Once you have those two separate, then we mix in carbon monoxide. Once those are all together in a highly pressurized uh, chamber and it's really hot, it produces blue crude oil, which is awesome because we can literally make it. And this carbon monoxide, where does it come from? It comes from the atmosphere. We're pulling it from the CO2 in the atmosphere. So this process actually allows, it, uh, makes us take pollution out of the air and we turn it into fuel, which doesn't create more pollution because it's mostly made from water. It's amazing. I'm, I'm all about, you know, I'm all about renewable energy. I'm all about alternative ways of transportation. This is the future, really, even, even more than electric cars. Mm -hmm. I'm a big proponent of electric cars, but the problem with electric cars is that they the recharge with energy that is produced by coal or other dirty yeah. sources. So at the end of it, yes, we're not, it, we're not producing pollution from the cars itself, but it's being fed into the car by the energy. But this, on the other hand, is great because now we're finally approaching combustible energy that is not coming from oil, is not coming from the earth. We are recycling our mess, which is amazing that we finally figure out a way like, okay, we create this mess, we put tons and tons, millions of tons of CO2 to the atmosphere every year. Now, finally, we're gonna pull back a little bit and keep moving forward. Yeah, and it's awesome. And the, the company that's working alongside Audi, they're called Sunfire. They're a green tech company. And it was their idea. They're the ones that started this plant that's completely self-sufficient, running off wind and solar and other renewables like that. So it's really exciting the fact that even the process itself, which is used to make the oil, is completely green. Yeah. So it's just a win-win situation considering that you take CO2 from the air. We're not quite there yet, though they're only able with this one plant to make 160 liters a day, which is nothing. That's not yeah, enough. but it's a very efficient fuel, right? I read yeah, that yeah, it's yeah. around 70% efficient, so 70% of the fuel burn actually is propelling the vehicle forward. Which so you is need less than of it. You need but less still, if we're going to talk about commercializing, we're not there yet because we're only making yeah. 160 liters a day. But given that it's only been around for three years, that's a huge step forward. The fact that we're getting there, and it's just going to go up from here. I Let think. me play devil's, devil's advocate for a moment. Go ahead. Do you think that this won't be blocked by the big oil companies, seeing that this is a real future, a real avenue to cut into their business. Because this is not something that you have to adapt a whole new behavior around your, your transportation. Like you buy an electric car, you have to factor in charging your car at the specific station or your house. This is something that could easily, if supported by the oil companies, could be built into our existing uh, network of gas stations around the world, or around the country. It's up to them to block it or to let it Work. But Audi is great because they, they are always pushing the envelope. We just talked about not too long ago how they hire robots in the auto show mm -hmm. in Shanghai. Now they're pushing for completely 100% renewable energy. I think it's great. I think there's hope for the future. Hopefully we can still live for many generations in this planet. I hope so too. That would be pretty cool. Let us know what you guys have to say about this. Is this the future? Goodbye petroleum. We want to know what you guys have to say about all this. So comment below and please, if you haven't already, Subscribe to the Lip TV 2 for more.